Hey, this is Mike. Just happened to have a 2011 BMW 535i on the lot that I wanted to show you. Interesting vehicle, has a lot of features, has a twin turbo engine. Pretty cool. You can see here in the front it has the proximity sensors. I'm sorry, the parking sensors here in the front. It does have a proximity key. And, uh, sunroof and all that but has a nice big disc brakes alloy wheels high-end tires and one of the features you can do with the key is um, you can unlock it of course but I'm gonna push the unlock button and kind of hold it and basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna roll down the windows and I'm gonna keep on holding it and it's going to open up the sunroof as well. That way on a nice sunny day, as you're walking to the vehicle, you can go ahead and get all the windows down and get the sunroof open and get the, the heat out. And that way you're ready to hop in and take off. Now as you can see, this has the manual sunshades here on the side, which are already put up. You can put those down. It goes into the door, like so. And it does have an automatic sunshade or, or a powered sunshade there in the back glass. Pretty neat. It does have the parking sensors here in the back. And it does have a backup camera. You can see the lens right up in here. And another cool thing about this vehicle is on the key I can go ahead and open up the trunk and it's an electric trunk basically push the button opens up and you've got a nice big spacious trunk now this vehicle does not have a spare tire so that's one thing to consider and then you can push this button here that closes the trunk for you so that way you don't have to really lift it up push it down stuff like that Alright, so here's the inside of the back door. You've got a little pocket there, window control, you got that sunshade I showed you. Has a wood grain trim there, speaker. And these back seats, um, from what it feels like when I sit in them, and what people have told me, is that if you weigh over 100 pounds, they pretty much bottom out of the cushion. So they're not the most comfortable back seats in the world. But they look really nice, and they're not that bad. Right, we've got your cup holders there, a little storage compartment there. And that goes like that. It's got the shark fin antenna there. Pretty good size sunroof too. All right, so here's the inside of the front door. You've got your power windows, sunshade controls, side mirror controls. You got your presets for your auto power seat, which is there. It does have lumbar support as well. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in. Now, I already unlocked the doors, but I, I can actually just have the key in my pocket and walk up and open up the door without, you know, it'll just unlock by itself. But um. And then once I get in, all I gotta do is put my foot on the brake, push the start button, and it'll start up. Now it does have automatic headlights, auto dim headlights, and a rear view mirror. Let me turn the fan down a little bit. So it doesn't interfere with the camera. So there's your steering wheel. Here's your gauges. This vehicle does have a little over 30, uh, 42,000 miles. 42,000 miles right there. Cruise control settings are on this side. And then you've got your volume button and stuff like that. Your Bluetooth controls on this side. It goes up to 160, pretty cool. Nice big screen here. 
Now the screen is controlled by this dial and these buttons here. So it's not a, a touch screen or anything, but um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of push radio so you can see that it has satellite radio, AM, FM, stuff like that. I push the CD, it shows that um, it's on track three. The vehicle is equipped with extra heavy springs to absorb road shocks that could chip flecks of pigment from the canvas. Upon arrival in Washington, the Mona Lisa is locked behind steel doors in a climate control vault that keeps the temperature at a perfect 62 degrees at all hours. Should the electricity fail, the backup generator will automatically take All right, I'm going to push the nav Even button the the so you can see the, the weather map and all that stuff. I mean, not the weather map. The map of the area, really nice looking, looking map. I mean, it kind of looks pretty cool here. Now I'm going to start moving some dials and um, go to an interactive map. There we go. And that way we can kind of see right where we're at. And nice, crisp, clear screen. I can go back and go exit that. And. Um, of the telephone right now there's no telephones paired um, go to the menu navigation BMW assist vehicle info settings and I'm turning the style like that in order to scroll through here but this menu is I mean this this computer system basically has a lot of features that I'm unfamiliar with so you know Sorry about that, but I just want to kind of show you this car. I'm not a BMW expert, but I just want to kind of show you what we have here that's in front of me. Now your, your CD player is there. Hopefully this won't interfere with the camera. CD player is there, and you've got your, your numbers there, eject, stuff like that, AM, FM. Now down here you have your dual climate, climate controls, passenger, driver, got your fan controls on both sides which is pretty neat it does have heated seats I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse okay so I need to go this all right so right now we were in reverse and it kind of gives you an estimated trajectory there's your camera now it's also showing me that there's something in front of the vehicle you see there and of course we've got that pole right in front of the vehicle so You've got your sensors are doing what they're supposed to do and it tells you what side that it is too. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and push the P for park. Puts it back in park. So the shifter is a little bit different than a normal shifter. Um, but you know something to get used to. It is pretty comfortable. In here you've got some cup holders and a power supply. It kind of flips down like that. It has electronic parking brake. You can turn your parking sensors on or off right there. And um, another thing I, on the door here, I wanted to show you your sunshade is controlled. See how it goes down and goes up? That's controlled with this button here on the on the door. Now I just noticed another thing that I didn't know before is that when you open the door and you close it, you just gently pull it to and it closes it for you so you don't have to slam the door. Alright, so we've got like an ashtray here. This comes out and it doesn't appear that the vehicle has been smoked in or anything like that, but it does have a little ashtray there. This opens up and you've got an auxiliary input as well as a USB input. And your trunk, you can lock it there. And then you got like a storage pocket. It looks like a perfect place to put a cell phone. But that's pretty neat. There's your glove compartment, which is huge. I'm going to take a long arm to reach back there, but it's got a big, big glove compartment. Right here is your garage door controls. You have auto dim rear view mirror. Um, up here you've got some lights and stuff. Like a dome light, spotlights. 
and you can close the, um, the sunroof with this button here. Now, when you first push it, it's going to close the sun, the glass, and the second push will push close the shade right here. So you can't manually close that shade. All right, so let's check out underneath the hood. Twin power turbo BMW. And for the BMW experts out there, if you want to fill in where I'm missing um, or mistaken in the comments, I'd appreciate it because I really don't know a lot about this car. Um, but, you know, I appreciate your help. But anyway, there it is. I'll see you next time.